Hello everyone, Prof. Mike Green here. I'm doing a video for fall 2014. Uh, just a quick overview of what week one looks like. Because this ITD 110 course is an eight week course, we have to get rolling right away. So you'll notice that in week one you've got some quick videos uh, about introducing the course, introducing me as your instructor, a link to the course syllabus, which can also be found on the navigation menu here on the left. Then we move right into uh, readings from your textbook. The textbook, you'll notice, is available online through the uh, RCC library. Uh, so the entire book is here. And when you need files, I make them available to you in, in Blackboard. So go ahead and read through the preface, chapter one, and chapter two of the text. And you can also find a direct link to the textbook uh, in the navigation menu on the left here as well. Step three. Uh, as you read through your text, you're going to notice there are some things we need to be a web designer. And that's what step three is, is talking about here. What I want you to do is download this student survey document. It's a couple quick questions just for me to get to know you a little bit. And it's going to be our first exercise in how you're going to turn in assignments this semester. So part of step three is first downloading and installing our text editor, Sublime Text. Download for your OS uh, from the website. It will uh, nag you with a, hey, it's time to buy this software, but the free trial is essentially forever. If you just tell it, no, I don't want to purchase yet, you can use Sublime Text uh, forever. Uh, web browser. If you have not installed Google Chrome, you need to download and install that. It's a great web browser to do development work, and at later in the semester and in our other web design courses, we're going to be using some of the advanced development and debug features of Google Chrome. And then finally, FTP. You're going to receive an email from me with a username and password for your FTP. And uh, it's going to take you to a site that looks like this. You're going to log in with that username or password and be taken to, yours won't look like this because I have the master file, but if I double click here, here's an empty folder. This will be what yours looks like. It'll say this folder is empty. You'll have the same uh, commands here. So when you want to upload something, you'll click Upload. We'll be using the files generally. So you choose files from your computer. And generally speaking, you'll have more than one file. So you need to make sure to upload all of them, as well as any images and uh, CSS files. And, and like I said, there'll be, there'll be multiple files depending on the assignment. But you'll be using that website. Let me go back and click the back arrow here. And um, each. Each, each week you'll be creating a new directory, a new folder. So you can say the first one we have to create is chapter two. So we'll click the check mark there. Successfully created, great. Let's go back and now we have a chapter uh, two directory. I can double click here to go into it and you can see my path uh, here. It, it changes, I've gone a, another level deep and now this folder is empty. If I wanna go back up, I can use the breadcrumbs here say oh there's my directory so by the end of the semester you'll have several different folders here each with different assignments uploaded in them and you'll become very familiar with how to submit assignments um, through this uh, net to FTP let's go back to blackboard another tool um, that we're going to use this semester is codecademy.com and I believe let me click it go right to the home page here I'm already logged in so let me sign out and this is what you will see. You can create a new account, or what I recommend you do is click the Google login and use your RCC account. Uh, if it doesn't show up automatically, here's mine, at email, you might be asked to add account and actually log in. Um, I'm going to be giving you direct links, but we're going to be using several of the different skills here. So HTML and CSS is the first one. And uh, I've got an overview video that talks about how to actually use this website, but this is a great website to help teach yourself uh, HTML, and it's a great accompaniment to our textbook and the other things that we're going to be doing this semester. So step five, you're going to be using the HTML basics uh, lessons, and there's 14 total. We're going to be going from one through eight, so you're going to complete those. And I've got a YouTube video that walks you through each one. And, um, and then the final thing, uh, time to create your first website. So this refers back to your textbook. The textbook uh, 
builds a website called Bubble Under throughout the entire semester. And as you finish chapter two, you're gonna have three files, uh, three HTML files that you've created, and it looks like this here. So I've got the final product that you're being asked to create. It's fairly basic, it does have an image. This is what gives most people uh, the worst problem, is getting that image to link correctly. So you create those three files, and um, the image you don't have to create from scratch. There's going to be a link here uh, to the image, which I don't have currently. Uh, but you'll have a link to the image, which you can download and use. And then you'll FTP all of those files, come back over here, in a chapter two directory that you'll create. And, uh, and that's, that's week, week one. If you have any questions, always feel free to contact me via email, via text. I've got all my contact information. Uh, loaded into Blackboard.